that shot over the uh, Mississippi Orchard. River. Or downright biblical looking, isn't it? That is fantastic. beautiful. Our first guest uh, blew the roof off the uh, dump last night, and we're very happy to have him back with us here again this evening. He has a wonderful uh, new CD entitled uh, The Rising, and next week he begins a world tour. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> You look good. pretty good. Yeah. Summer doing yeah. all right for you? Yeah, it's been good. Now, when you're out, uh, by the way, you know I came very close to being in the E Street Band. <laughs> <laughs> that was when we were thinking of, of uh, letting go of Clarence. I believe sax saxophone was your... <laughs> That's it exactly. That's it exactly. Uh, but when you're, when you're out, you know, uh, driving around and stuff, you drive around like other folks, I guess. Do you, do you ever find yourself, uh, like, singing your own songs? <laughs> You get something on the radio and you're singing along with your own stuff in the car? Well, like, like, I mean, are you doing comedy bits when you're driving in from Connecticut? <laughs> <laughs> <I>, yes. <laughs> I mean, that would, that would seem to be, that seem to be like the natural thing to do. You're driving in. Is it funny? Is it not funny? I don't <laughs> you know. think so, I would you? <laughs> no, I don't do that. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you must be uh, you must be really excited. This has got to be a great time for you, I would think, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. You yeah. know, it's a uh, record. I think it's one of the best I ever made. And uh, oh. <laughs> well, I, uh, made, made it all the way from you know, over there to the couch here, and that's you know. Kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, you finally uh, made it over. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of pressure in I understand that. I'm not kind of when, when, you're, when you're making a, uh, an album, a record, a CD, whatever they call them these days, what, what the hell do you call them? Is it just like a well, CD? The, the or kids a... call them discs, I, I found out, you yeah. know? Because, uh, like my kids, where's your new disc? Your new disc, if they ask, you know. I mean, the old folks, like, you know, well, myself, not you. Yeah, right? no, <laughs> I still call them albums. Sure. We're still we're like the last of the album makers or something. Yeah. So. Now, when, when you... When you, how do you decide, okay, I'm going to put together a collection of music that will go to a disc or an album? Is, is that an official, do you have like an official beginning, or is it just a gradual, casual accumulation of material? Uh, sometimes it's luck. You know, you write a bunch of songs that go together. We made this record in about seven and a half weeks. So that was really fast. Mm -hmm. But I've spent a year or two waiting for the right collection of songs, and uh, that's not any fun. And, and how, how many, it's not, it's not fun, you say? No. <laughs> but you're sitting around, first of all, I like to play, right. you know? And, uh, I mean, that's really one of the things I enjoy doing the most. So you're sitting around waiting. The trick with a new song is to have a new song, you've got to have a new idea. Sometimes you don't have them. So you're sitting around waiting, waiting, waiting. You want to go out and play, but you don't have new material. And uh, it just, you know, time marches on. I mean, I, I don't have any guys writing stuff for me. I don't know, I don't know, if, it, I don't know if it works like that on, on this show. <laughs> 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 but uh, that's that's why that's why you can do it every single night, you know, and, and, yeah. and that's to be different. Uh -huh. So being very generous there. <laughs> but now, here's a here's a very uh, it's interesting. Uh, now, when you the creative process, I'm guessing there may be one of two ways this happens. Either just like you said, something comes to you, an idea occurs, you wake up, and it's kind of right there with breakfast. Or, if, <laughs> if, you, if you get impatient, then it becomes a little more contrived, and you have to sort of chase it, perhaps. Well, you've got to watch out for that. You know, I think uh, um, you're sort of trying to contrive spontaneity, if you can, I guess. Yeah. I, don't know. It's like, I think you can't chase it too hard, you know, and you've got to be chasing the right stuff. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> you ha have, you, have you noticed a, a difference in the end result? Is it possible for something that in the beginning you think is a little contrived to turn out just as well as something that occurred naturally to you? Uh, usually that stuff ends up thrown out. Right away, if it's not coming up from, from the middle of you, it ends up, you know, in the end it always ends up on the, you know, on the floor in the studio, you know. But um, uh, that's that's the key to the whole thing, and it's got to be the same thing, you know. With the kind of yeah, you're searching for that thing that's that's right. true, that feels that feels like it has its own living and breathing life, and so 
that's the thing to chase. I think you know, that's that's really what I, what I'm always what I'm always after. And I, I sit around and wait till it till it, <laughs> till it comes around. Well, what, what's the the longest period of time you've had to wait before something satisfactory occurred to you? Uh, <laughs> Are we talking about a matter of days, or no, can it go like no, weeks, no, or it months? Goes, or? goes months. Goes. Uh, born in the USA, I think I had half the record, and I waited another year, a year and a half, for like four or five more songs. Yeah. And I, w I didn't like them when I was finished with them, so. You know, f finally I got fed up and, and, you know, we went out anyway, but, uh... <laughs> well, that turned out all right, but, though. But, yeah, so you, you never know, you know, you'll think something's kind of, well, that's okay, and somebody will go, man, that's, you know... And, and, and are, are you the, the best ultimate judge of what the finished product is? Um... Yeah, I've gotten pretty good at it over the years, pretty good, you know. Uh, in the end, uh, you put the thing out there and people say, you know, people say what they like or what they're, they're not that fond of, but I've gotten pretty good at, at reading when I've captured something that, I think it's going to be fun and, and meaningful for my for my fans. Yes. And, and what was the, the what was what was the length of time between this one and your your previous uh, album disc? Uh, jeez, <laughs> I think I put one out. Uh, back around 94 or 5 or, or maybe it was a little later you know yeah. but <laughs> but we had a live record that came out from the last tour and before that i had a record out called ghost of tom joe that i put out right. in the mid 90s and uh thank you thank you <laughs> and uh uh they come every two or three years it was, so it's pretty, it's, it's a bit of a wait, you know. Well, th this one is a, a wonderful collection of stuff. I've listened to this uh, four or five times, and it, the, the sound is wonderful, and it's so nice to have that gotta, again. Gotta, gotta thank Brendan O'Brien. Brendan O'Brien produced the band, got the band sounding uh, just very sonically fresh, and, and like I said, we made it in seven and a half weeks, and the songs came along, and, and but, but I really have to thank him. And uh, I have to send out a... Uh, Congratulations to my sister Pam because she just had a little baby girl. There you go. Congratulations, <laughs> Pam. I <laughs> speak out loud. How's everybody in the band getting along? Uh, we don't get along very well at all, really. And, and the, the whole the whole friendly good guy thing it's it's a shtick we've worked up over the years. It's, <laughs> it's worked out pretty well, so we're hanging with it. <laughs> well, good. Uh, it, it, the last night it, it was fun to see you guys, and you're beginning now. Uh, 46 city tour, is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. 46 shows in 46 yeah. cities. Um, 46 cities, yeah. Shows. And this is like big, big places. This is not small. This is huge arenas. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. They play basketball in them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, must be, you must be really excited about this tour. Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah, always it's going to be great. Listen, it's great to see you Thanks. again. And Appreciate you're going to sing for us again sure a will. little bit later. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, everybody.